when doing research, we have sources available to you that are going to be trustworthy and give you the information you need as quick as possible. These are efficient and effective resources that you should use before you choose to Google. Go to the Central Middle School Library website and choose the Research tab. In the Research tab, you will find World Book Online, which is an encyclopedia that our district subscribes to. At school, this will open automatically, but you will need a username and password at home, which is different than the username and password you use to log into a computer. You can get this from the librarian or your teachers. When you click the link for World Book Online, you'll notice that you will be directed to the Cape Girardeau School District's page where we have a kids, student, and advanced version. We also have some additional features such as timelines, discover, and the encyclopedia offered in Spanish. For middle school, you'll most likely want to use the student version. As you can see, like with Google or any other resource, there will be a search box that will allow you to search for what you are looking for. There are some quick links of things that can help you citation builders, timelines, browsing by subjects, maps and atlases, and a My Research tab. You'll also find current headlines, Biography Center that gives you biographies of many different people. There's featured media each week as well. Suppose we wanted to learn more about tigers. As you type, you will notice that the keyword tiger is in many of these results. Depending on what you were looking for, you will need to choose the correct one for you. Suppose we were actually looking for the tiger lily. We will click on that link and you'll notice there is a small article about the tiger lily that's not too overwhelming to read, which is a great reason to use the World Book Encyclopedia. It's great for quick, short paragraphs of facts that will get you going on your research. There are some built-in features that you might want to use. Go to the settings gear symbol and notice that you can translate into different languages, cite your source, view, save, share, and print. There are also features such as text size, which allows you to make this smaller or larger. And you are also able to double click on a word at any time to define that word. You also have the ability to listen to the article. You can choose male or female, slower or faster, and choose between various accents. Every article has a button that allows you to cite, which you saw in the settings as well. So this is a great resource with added features that will help you get the most out of your information. You may have noticed that when you did the search, there are some additional things besides an encyclopedia entry. So depending on what you look up, you may find videos or linked websites that will give you more information.